What's up, Pokechamps? It's your boy Infamous Trainer, and welcome back to the Neos region, my very own fan made Pokemon region that uses some elements from Black Clover. In the last couple episodes, we've done things like shown off the starter Pokemon, Route 1 Pokemon, and not to mention our most recent episode, I did regional forms. It's actually been really awesome as you guys have been submitting all kinds of cool fan art for some of the Pokemon I created. So let's hop off the train of the regional Pokemon and show you guys some more staples for any Pokemon region, that being Bug Pokemon. Now, really quickly before I show you guys the bug Pokemon for the region, I want to go over a quick revision I have been working on. This quick revision is actually going to be for the grass starter Pokemon, being Shrubberoo, which is the final form of Twigaby. Overall, I found this design looking really good, but it did need some improvement. Again, as my art is getting better, I want to make sure the designs keep up with that as well. So I'll be doing some revisions for all the Pokemon if I feel like I need to. That being said, I give you guys the brand new updated Shrubberoo, which I think looks really good. Overall, just looks a lot more polished, a lot more rounded off, and added in some better colors. Plus, I think the shading is a lot better here too. And the biggest difference is those feet. I needed to upgrade those because they were looking a little bit off in the original version. Besides that, overall, I love the new design, and hopefully you guys do too. Again, I'll be keeping you guys updated with brand new Pokemon updates and design revamps that I'll be working on. Now, it's time for some bug Pokemon. Now, bug Pokemon are by far one of the hardest things that I've had to make so far for the region. Now, some of you don't know, but I actually do not like bugs of any kind. They're really gross. And I had a hard time looking up bug designs and overall insects in general through Google search. It was just giving me the creeps. But you guys are amazing. Now, of course, I had ideas already implemented that I wanted to do certain types of insects as Pokemon as I brought some inspiration from Black Clover into the region. Some of you even gave me some brand new ideas, some art samples to really help flush out these bug Pokemon. Now, of course, we have to start with the bug Pokemon I've already teased, and some of you guys have already seen the Pokemon. I have to give a huge shout out to Whom Yes over on Discord, a huge thanks to Keith over on Twitter, and make sure you guys check out Keith over on his official Twitch account because that man is awesome and has some really dope art. And lastly, Yo Speedy, one of the mods of the channel who actually helped me with some of the names. Now the first set of Pokemon are actually inspired by a Magic Knight squad from Black Clover, that being the Green Mantis. It just makes a lot of sense. As this was an awesome way to tie in a brand new Pokemon with some Black Clover elements. Plus, Mantises are pretty cool insects for the most part. So without further ado, I present Terra Urk. Terra Urk, the tiny Mantis Pokemon and a pure bug type. With the ability Tinted Lens and the hidden ability Swarm. Terra Urk is a Pokemon of usually two different types of personalities as some will come across more timid, needing to build their confidence, as others will come off more confident and brave and take on any opponent it meets. In time, no matter which Terra Urk you have, or yours is more like, it will become a stronger Pokemon through its evolution. Also, they love to eat Nana Berries. The name Terra Urk actually comes from the two names being Mantop Terra, which is another name for a Mantis, and Lurk, which actually explains part of its evolution. Overall, I think it came out looking really good, and I love the shiny. A simple brown with some pink elements definitely goes a long way. But of course, I had to make this Pokemon seem a little bit different. So I did something that I love to see in other Fakemon regions alongside something that I wish Pokemon did more, and I decided to give this Pokemon a split evolution. Yes, you heard it, this Pokemon will have two different forms it can turn into. Additionally, I decided to bring in something from Generation 8, and that was a brand new evolution method through their nature. Just like with Toxel into Toxtricity. That's why the description goes into having two different types of personality, because depending on the type of nature you have for the Pokemon, it will turn into one of these two forms. So, kicking it off with the evolution that is more confident, I wanted a Pokemon that seemed fun and something a bit different, but had some great inspiration. So, why not another bug and fighting type? I thought this could be fun because actually, if you didn't know, we don't have many bug and fighting type Pokemon. And this adds a great contrast for the other side of this evolution line. Because it's just Heracross and two of the Ultra Beast being Buzzwole and Feramosa. Now to add on to this typing, I actually had some inspiration by a movie being Kung Fu Panda. And in that movie, we actually have a fighting mantis. And not to mention, there is a actual martial art being the Northern Prey Mantis style and the Southern Prey Mantis style, which are two forms of Kung Fu using Mantis inspirations. So without further ado, if you had a more confident Terra Urk, it will evolve into Grantis. Grantis, the Pinyin Pokemon. 
a bug and fighting type with the ability Swarm and the hidden ability Iron Fist. If your Terra Urk was more of the confident type, then it evolves into Grantis. Grantis are proud fighters and take pride in their martial arts skills, using a brand new move exclusive to them where they use their mandibles and strike with great force. Grantis are usually found training alongside Pokemon like Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Hitmontop, Sock, and Throw. Overall to help improve their skill, not to mention they still tend to love Nanat Fairies. Now the name Grantis comes from Grand Master, Grand, and of course Mantis. Additionally, Pinyin actually means Prey Mantis in Chinese. So overall, I felt like it felt well. I love the shiny for this Pokemon, I just love the contrast with the blue, and I also brought in some great inspiration from other characters that also love the fight, like Chun-Li from the Street Fighter franchise. I think with all the elements and the overall look, it looks amazing, and it has a brand new move. But I also wanted to leave this brand new move to you guys, so what is a brand new move we can give Grantis or other bug Pokemon that fit this design and aesthetic? I'm gonna leave it to you guys to help me with that. Now like I said, this is going to be a split evolution, so on the other side of this coin, we have the other form of what Terra Arc turns into. And I decided to pull back into some inspiration from the Green Mantis Magic Knight Squad, and actually base this one off a huge inspiration of Jack the Ripper, the captain of the squad. Jack the Ripper is known for his severing magic, which is actually known to be able to slice anything in the world of Black Clover, except for anti-magic of course. So with that inspiration in mind, that actually helped me shift to the other Pokemon. On top of that, I wanted to use an unused Pokemon typing, because I want to introduce more of those into my region. So this actually became a really easy Pokemon to make, again with some help from the guys I mentioned earlier. So I present Reapdis. Reapdis, the slashing Pokemon, a bug and dark type. With the brand new ability Sever, Sever highly increases the critical chance of striking an opponent Pokemon with any slash based move. And the hidden ability Swarm. Now if your Terra Urk was more of the timid type, then it evolves into Reapdis. Reapdis is the more sinister out of the two evolutions. It's usually been seen slashing and severing anything it lands its blades on especially running into Scyther to test its blade strength. They love to train in dark areas, but taming it is going to be pretty difficult, but once you do, it will slice and sever anything that you need done. And the name for this one is pretty simple, as it's actually just based off of Reaper, which is a pretty dark element, and of course, Mantis. Reapdis is one of my favorite Pokemon, again, I love this entire line, I think it works so well and the way that I've laid it out for trainers makes it a cool Pokemon to have a decision between. Not to mention having the bone type face structure just kind of looks awesome because it seems like this Pokemon has two different faces. Again, I love it, honestly, I don't know which one I would choose so in the comments down below let me know which form are you guys kind of liking more. Now of course, I couldn't leave the region without a traditional bug Pokemon but I had a hard time deciding on what kind of little bugs we could use and turn them into epic Pokemon. We've already had butterflies, we've already had bees, we've already had moths, so what could I do? Well, let's start with this little creature right here. I want to introduce you guys to Storabug. Storabug, the bug Pokemon, the storing Pokemon, with the ability Shield Dust and the hidden ability Runaway. Storabug are very fragile bug Pokemon. The bulbs on his back holds a liquid, which is turned into that state after eating different berries. It can use the liquid for attacks, as well as it has some acidic properties. It's noticed that the bulbs on the back of Storbug's back is also transparent. That in mind, it always uses its hard head to protect itself. That way you can always find it in the ground, head first, so nothing happens to its body. Again, I wanted to start with a cute little basic bug Pokemon, some kind of worm type creature, and as you guys see through the evolutions, we're going to turn into something that Pokemon honestly should have done by now, and I'll explain the reference to Black Clover as well. Overall, I love the bug, and of course, it is translucent, it's actually really cool, and I think the shiny is cute and adorable, and again, it's going to play more into that acidic type nature as well. Now of course, if you have a fragile Pokemon, it has to protect itself, right? So why don't we go ahead and evolve this Pokemon into its evolution, that being Stockoon. Stockoon, the stock Pokemon, and another pure bug type, with the ability Shed Skin and the hidden ability Speed Boost. Through evolution, it has evolved into Stockoon. Once in this form, it seems as if its shell around its body serves to protect the liquid inside. It's also noted that in this stage, the Pokemon has its eyes closed, as it's trying to sleep and preserve as much energy as possible. It also keeps the theme of having a translucent bulb on the bottom of its body now. Again, the shell is going to serve as some kind of armor to the Pokemon, making it almost impossible to break through. 
So going from a very fragile bug to a pretty overall protective and shelled up armor type Pokemon, I feel like this works really well, as it's trying to protect itself in the liquid inside. Again, it has acidic properties, but how will the Pokemon use it? Now before I jump into the final evolution, I actually want to talk about the inspiration of what this Pokemon is actually going to be. Now in the World of Black Clover, specifically in one of the fights that you'll actually see in one of the earlier seasons, is an actual magic user that uses mosquito magic. Yeah, you guys know where this is going. So I decided to bring a whole new Pokemon in based off a mosquito, which I thought would be a fun insect to bring to the world of Neos. But how can I make this Pokemon seem fun, but also tie into the same things I implemented very early on? Well, without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to Toxkeeto. I know, the name is real basic, but bear with me. Toxkeeto, the mosquito Pokemon, a bug and poison type, with the ability Poison Heal and the hidden ability Speed Boost. Toxkeeto are extremely territorial over the young and the nest. They hate to be disturbed and will be often attacking you out of fear what you may do to the nest. It uses the stinger on its face to attack anyone it comes in contact with, which is actually known for putting many trainers in the Pokemon Center. Although Toxkeeto is not the fastest Pokemon, its defenses are remarkable to help preserve the actual liquids inside of its body. And once that liquid hits air, it actually turns into poison. All being said, many trainers are wary of this Pokemon, and they should be. Biggest thing, just be sure to watch out for the stinger. Now I wanted to introduce a bigger type bug Pokemon and I felt like a mosquito was the way to go. Again balancing off of the actual mosquito magic in the world of Black Clover, I thought it was a perfect fit. I love how the design came out having translucent wings as the wings are going to be the main concept that actually keeps the translucent trend going. And to mention, it also has a pretty nice stinger on it as well. The biggest thing with bug Pokemon is of course you want to have a Pokemon that is kind of gross and buggy but also can be your friend. I feel like over time you can tame this Pokemon and it's really big so you can maybe even fly on it. But again I do need your guys' help as I do want a brand new exclusive move to this Pokemon, something similar to Giga Drain but for a poison type. So what kind of moves can you guys make up in the comment section down below? I'll actually implement it into the game portion once we get there. And I also have to add, I love the shiny for this Pokemon with the green and it just, it looks so good. It looks so dang good on this Pokemon and it really works for the whole poison aesthetic. I mean, one of my favorite shinies thus far. But you let me know, would you pick up Toxkeeto? Now with that being said, that actually does it for all the Pokemon in this episode. I unveiled six different bug Pokemon that you can experience. One that has a split evolution, which I love split evolutions, and you guys will see more of these in the future. And a mosquito Pokemon that's pretty tanky that you can have at the beginning of your Neos experience. With all that out of the way, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of what Pokemon so far you're thinking you may pick up to join your team as far as any of the bug Pokemon. And don't forget to give me some brand new move ideas for some of these Pokemon as well. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys do leave a like on this video, share the video out, hit the subscribe button, and possibly think about becoming a member if you guys want to help expand the region even more because some of you guys have expressed how you guys would love to see Mega Evolutions for Neos. All that being said, make sure you guys do stay infamous, keep your heart ablaze, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!